Hi everyone, all you painter folk out there, welcome back to the channel. This is actually going to be a serious one for a change. Uh, it's a Sunday, so poor old Rupert is probably recovering after all his hard work yesterday making the pressure gauge. Uh, but we're at the stage now where the uh, Big Dipper is ready to be hopped and put in the fridge to condition. Uh, by next weekend, we'll be able to review it and taste it if we can get it out. Now, disappointingly, what I've done is I've actually not used one of my homemade, but still homemade, but I've used it more quality. So people, people have been saying, oh, they're not accurate, they're not accurate. So this is a Kegland proper homebrew gauge. And it's the same as my other ones. So at setting two, which is what Painter recommend that we brew these at, I am getting 15 PSI in my blue one and also in my grey one, which is nowhere near what the 26 PSI is that recommends recommended by Ralph on his video. I'm not too sure if I adjust this up. I've seen comments on our channel and various other places where people have wound it right up to five and it still doesn't get to 26 PSI. So any de brews would like to ask a favor of the community because nobody knows painters and brews more than we do. I don't care what painters say about it. We do the brewing, we use the product. So we should be able to come up with uh, some answers. So I will ask all of you in the comments down below, I'm gonna put this on Facebook as well in the two groups. Please can you comment if you have a gauge and you've been brewing it setting two, can you let us know what your PSI or bar, whatever the reading is, can you let us know, please, down below, what setting you're going to get. I am going to compile all that. And if everybody's getting 26 at setting two, well and good. Yeah, if, if we're not, just unlucky. Maybe we're just unlucky. But there's a whole pile of other brewers. And who are also unlucky. Who are also <laughs> unlucky. But there's a whole pile of the rest of us are going to get another batch of these sent out in August. So it would be good to let them know what, the situation is so I'm going to ask everybody please 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 get involved and let us know and compile it and I'm going to email Ralph with the results and we'll see if we get anything back but so 15 PSI at the minute we'll see what comes out uh, next weekend if anything or how far we get could be two pints could be three pints it could be all of it who knows never done 15 PSI before for the whole way I've always done one and done before where we Brewed it one, then we turned it up for the last few days to take it up to 32 PSI, which is twice the pressure. So obviously, yeah. <laughs> Do you know we used to have problems, honey, getting the, the <laughs> juice to go down in? Mm -hmm. and no issues this time. Because <laughs> there's no pressure keeping it out. And oh, yeah, right. Yeah, that's just gone. Flying that in? Yeah, that's just gone. Straight in, emptied it. Wow. Okay. So we've gone from having overly fizzy sweet beer that jetted out all over the place but that was only a small percentage 0.006 and if anybody mentions 0.006 and you're a minority causing hassle i'll go mad okay yes so if you want to come over with the sponsors out of the road i mean this this brewed fantastically i mean it's it's 93 percent attenuated there's hardly any sugar left in it and Big Dipper on the label says it should be 7% ABV. This is 6.94. So yeah, brewing, no problems, no issues. But Getting it out. Such low pressure. I'm not surprised. But yeah, there's a, there's a trub in there. And there's a bit of carbonation, obviously, in that. But the issue is, honey, when it goes into the fridge mm. and it goes down to the 3 degrees that yeah. the fridge is at, all that CO2 will get absorbed into the beer. Who knows? It might be something like that, but it's still not doing what it's supposed to. It's supposed to be 26 PSI, and that's what Ralph says. Mm, it smells that's lovely. The that's the idea, though, so. It actually smells really nice. Wish I could show you the smell. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, everybody, please uh, get involved with this. Mm, smells lovely. Uh, and we'll compile it and we'll see how many. Even if we get a sample of, I don't know, 30, 40, 50, I don't know. Yeah, it'd be interesting to see how many people are getting the 26. See who's having trouble and see who, who's how many are getting, is, it. Yeah, getting it. So yeah, I'm going to pop this in the fridge, stick a plate on, stick a tap on. The trub looks actually quite thick and gooey. Mm. It's still going. Yeah, still going. So yeah, uh, that'll be us for the videos for now, for a while until we get the 
the app to tell us that we're good to pour and then we'll have some excitement next week. And you have the eye spindle in that one. Do you want to tell people the numbers you came up with? Or oh, was, you sort of told the numbers? That was the numbers. Okay. So yeah, yeah, eye spindle in this one. So that's it's its job done. Mm -hmm. uh, it'll braid out fine. We'll see what happens. Uh, looking forward to your comments, guys. Uh, and from Amy and Estelle here, Amy Dubrews and Rupert at home. Uh, Sitting, Enjoying the sunshine. Watching whatever he's doing. Enjoying the sunshine. <laughs> uh, thanks, guys. You're great. Love you all. See you soon. Bye. Bye.